We walked from the hotel, it's probably like a two minute walk um, to this field and we did a clinic for the kids. Um, I think they were like ages from eight to probably around 13 years old and we just did like some fundamental drills and stuff. It was pretty fun. It was also fun trying to talk to them in Spanish and they were trying to talk in English so it was pretty cool. Every kid here had a smile on their face so they were happy to be out here. So I mean for me that's, that's pretty cool that even though they're in a third world country they're still still excited every day to come out and play baseball. Uh, this morning we went to camp and uh, it's really fun being able to interact with all the kids. Um, a lot of them were actually pretty good at baseball even though they were only like six to eight, six to ten years old probably. But uh, yeah, it was really fun. We made some handshakes and all the kids love that. And uh, after they played baseball, they kind of were just having a good time with us. They loved all the baseball players from Wake Forest and uh, giving them piggyback rides and everything was, was actually really fun and uh, they seemed to love it, so it was a good time. Well, it's been an unbelievable experience for our guys. I think we learned a lot about ourselves, uh, how fortunate we are, how important it is to give back, uh, but we also saw great baseball and I think we got a taste of what it takes to play at the next level. Well, visiting the orphanage, uh, Josiah's house was certainly very high on my list. Um, you know, the games itself, playing against the Esco Guido team uh, in that stadium, certainly from a baseball standpoint, was, was one of the highlights. And then this clinic today, I thought this clinic today was fantastic. I was really proud of our guys. They did a great job after a long week of travel and coming right off of finals. So I was really proud of the way they handled today. I think we're going to be a closer group as a, as a unit. I think our guys are going to uh, be a little tighter knit than they were before this trip. I think they're going to have a greater appreciation of, of uh, all the gifts they're blessed with in the States. And, uh, and hopefully they're, they're going to see what it takes to play at the next level, what these kids are doing with those beach workouts uh, every day and what they're doing to play in the major leagues. Our guys need to make those same sacrifices. Adios, amigo. <laughs> Adios, Dominicana. Dominicana. Adios, República Dominicana. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Hasta la vista, baby.